All right, we look forward to it. Thank you, Ben. Here at home, a very special robotics team is getting reach for its first shot on the international stage. The Rising Stars Academy has found a way to shoot down stereotypes while giving people living with disabilities a chance to shine. Paula Tutman is in center line to explain this watershed moment. Hi, Paula. Hey, Karen. You know, I really love this organization. I remember doing the first story when they opened. They had a handful of students. Since then, they have really expanded their programs. Their, their dream really was to take people living with disabilities, and instead of them being occupied, then they would train them and educate them using those disabilities and expanding in abilities inside of those disabilities. Take a look at these faces and what these kids are doing, because it is groundbreaking. Orange light, and now it's on. That's Chris, who's driving. I'm very confident. It's, we're going to have some obstacle forces set up soon. He's a young man who will likely never operate a motor vehicle in his lifetime. Yet here he is, leading the robotics team called the Nebulas. There's a waiting list for teams to get approved to come on to this competition. Uh, people wait six or eight or ten years to actually get a team together to be able to get into the competition. Yep, put your safety glasses on. The competition is a coveted one, the first robotics competition. Drill that hole right there. Right yep. But the organization has given Rising Stars Academy a shot at the international big show. There we go, perfect. And so these young people, many who have been shoved in the corner for much of their lives because they are developmentally challenged, disabled, well within the spectrum of autism, so many labels slapped on them at birth, yet today they enjoy one label, robotics team. All right. Yes, they are doing this themselves, and yes, there are challenges. Putting the robot together is hard? Yeah. The mental, like coming up with the ideas, putting them on paper, and then making it into an actual physical robot but adam has the perfect explanation nobody's perfect the first time we try this stuff are we ready for that though no why their instructor jennifer allen and their robotics coach reed jordan give them guidance but the students must do the work what's our next step with this you guys yet they've already managed to put together basics for tina who will have to pick up a ball raise it and navigate it through obstacles in other words lots of engineering lots to figure out. Just putting nuts and bolts together, half the kids don't have the dexterity to put nuts and bolts and use a ratchet and a screwdriver. And the students are figuring out how to tap into their disabilities to find actual ability. I, you know, I love watching them work. I love watching the intensity in their faces. Okay, so let's talk competition. Their first competition is actually in March, and believe it or not, it is in Centerline. So that's the start of the regional competition. Then they go to the state competition and then the global competition. So that's if they push through. But Karen, how about this? Just by being on that platform, just by being on that floor in March, they are pioneers. They are breaking barriers. And I just love seeing it. I really do. It's so impressive on so many levels. Obviously, the whole technicality of everything, but also just the confidence and the strength that they're gaining in this program. Absolutely. Feeling good about themselves, knowing that they're smart, knowing that they are being given a shot at something truly amazing. It's just great to watch. It really is. It's going to be fun to see their progress. Thank you, Paula, so very much. We appreciate it. And